Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Ravella Design. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful crochet kitchen apron. As you see the colors are beautiful and the patterns are wonderful. I really loved making this and now in very detailed I'm going to show you step by step uh, how I made this. We are going to crochet this beautiful kitchen apron together. And let me show it to you closely. This is the skirt. These are the pockets. This is the waist belt. This is the upper part of the apron. This is the belt uh, for the back side. As you see, I applied only granny stitch technique. There is nothing but this. Uh, if you are new, if you are uh, just middle level in crocheting, you can easily make this, dear friends. Look, I only applied this granny stitch. Look, granny square. Look, this is also granny square. This is single stitch. I hope you love this uh, kitchen apron, dear friends. This is uh, going to be a very good present for uh, Mom's Day. Uh, your grandmothers, your moms, uh, your aunts, your friends. Really, I love this uh, very much. Hope you also love this. Meanwhile, please remember to subscribe my YouTube channel, activate the info ring. Please leave like remarks, make comments and share my video. Uh, I need your support uh, like this, dear friends. And let's go on how to make this. Dear friends, since uh, it will be long to explain all details in one video, uh, I made uh, two different, two videos, two parts uh, for this kitchen apron. In uh, first part, we are going to make, we are going to make these pockets and also this upper part. Later on, I will show you how to make uh, the skirt and how to make uh, the other details uh, in another video. Uh, now, uh, let's go on uh, making the pockets and the upper part. Dear friends, for this crochet apron, first of all, we are going to make three pieces of this kind of granny square. Uh, this one is for the upper, uh, for the top uh, part of the apron. And uh, there will be two uh, squares. These will be the pockets. Uh, that we will sew up uh, in on the skirt of the apron. Now, I will tell you the measurements from here till here 28 centimeter, and this is from here till the other side 26 centimeters. And I will uh, tell you the, how many rows I made from here till the end 17 rows for the top part of the apron we are going to make 17 rows and when we measure it from uh, one side to the other it is 28 centimeters uh, but your uh, the thickness of your the thickness or the structure of your yarn can be different than mine 
For this reason, it is better to go on with the measurements. Uh, for example, you can make 17 rows, but maybe it will be less than 28 centimeter or it will be more than 28 centimeter. For this reason, uh, when making this and when finishing, just uh, consider the, uh, the measurements, dimensions. I mean, uh, you are going to make square uh, in the size of from here till the other 28 centimeters, dear friends. After making the top part of the apron, later on we are going to make these pom-poms. For the pockets, I am not going to make the pom-poms uh, pom because I will make the pom-poms uh, in the edges, uh, in the border of the skirt. And as I uh, told you, this is uh, from this side to the other 26 centimeters, dear friends. And from the center, to the uh, to this side i mean how many uh, rows i made uh, i made 16 rows 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 uh, but as i told you um, maybe it's not uh, it's not correct it's not good to go on with rows it's uh, good to go on with dimensions for this reason you are making uh, these pockets as 25 or 26 centimeters. I made 26 centimeters, dear friends. Now, uh, I made the upper part of the apron. I also made uh, one of the pockets. Now, I, we are going to make together the second part of the pocket uh, because they are the same. The three parts are, are the same, actually. Only the upper part is two row, uh, one row uh, more than the pockets since they are the same when I uh, explain you one pocket part then you can make all three yourself okay uh, let's start dear friends we are starting from the center dear friends I am taking my purple color in my hand we are starting by making magic ring I'm making magic ring like this I am turning this one I'm making a ring like this by turning, taking the yarn, there are different uh, magic ring making ways but uh, this way uh, is easier for me. Now I am making three chains, one, two, three, yarn over, I'm going to make double crochet. I'm going to make another double crochet. Now I made a block here. Uh, we will uh, call these as the blocks. I am considering the first three chains as the first double crochet and I made two more double crochet. There are three double crochets in one block. Now I am going to make two chains. These two, two chains uh, will be the corner of uh, our square. Now I am making a double crochet, making another double crochet, and making another double crochet. Dear friends, meanwhile we are uh, keeping this uh, remaining yarn always around the ring because later on when we finish crocheting we will pull this and we will make this very tiny. Now, I made the second block, uh, which is consists of three double crochets. I am making two chains and I am making another double uh, crochet. I am making another block here. As I told you, each block consists of uh, three double crochets, like this. Yes, one, two, I am making two chains, I am making last block, one, two, and three. 
one, two, three uh, spaces, you know. Now uh, I am pulling the remaining yarn. In this row there will be totally four blocks, one block, two block, three and four. Now I am pulling this. I am pulling as much as I can like this. As you see, there is no hole in the center. This is what we want to make. Now, after making the last block, we are making two chains. One, two. And, you know, firstly, we started this row by making three chains. Now I am inserting my hook at top of the three chain. I mean, at top of the first double crochet of this row. Now I am making a slip stitch. Yes, dear friends, we finished the first row. Now we are going to make the second row. In order to make the second row, this is the first row, this is the second row. We are taking our pink yarn in our hand. When going to the upper row, you know, this is the front side, this is the uh, back side. When we go to the other row, upper row, we are turning back and we are always starting from the back side. I am inserting my hook in one of the corners. No need to uh, insert our hook in the corner we finish. No need. Any corner you are inserting your hook. But the most important thing is this is the front side, this is the back side, and when you go to the upper row, always you are starting from the back side you finished. Now we are going to fix the pink yarn. We are making one, two, three chains. We are making one block in this corner space. This three chain is the first double crochet and I am making two more double crochet. This is a one and this is two, dear friends. I am keeping this at the back side. Later on, I will show you how we are going to hide them. We are making one chain and I am going to the other corner and making a block here which is consists of with three double crochet yes I made one block and I am making two chains always in the corners we are making two chains like this and now I am making one chain why because in the sides we are making uh, in the sides between the blocks we are making one chain but in the corners between the blocks we are making two chains now I am in the corner I made my first block I am making two chains because in the corner we are always making two chains now I am making the following uh, block now I am making one chain why because I am uh, in the side and I am going to the corner space I am making a block I am making two chains I am inserting my hook in the same space and making three double crochet in the space I mean making the second block of the corner yes it's been like this i am making one chain and 
what am I doing? I am inserting my hook in the space that I start and I am making a block in the space. And I am making two chains. Now we are finishing with the second row as well. And I am inserting my hook at top of the first three chains. I am making a slip stitch, making one chain, cutting the yarn and finishing this row, dear friends like this we are going to make the third row dear friends let me show you one two three we are going to go on with the orange color for this reason i am taking my orange color in my hand this is the front side of the pink color what we are doing when we go to the upper row we are always turning back uh, we are always starting from the back side of the previous row this is look at the pink uh, color dear friends this is the front side of the pink color I am turning back what we are doing we are going to start from the back side so I am inserting my hook in uh, any corner I am making three chains one two three I am making a block we made one block uh, we are making one chain and I am going to the space in the side I am making a block in this we are always working in the spaces we are making these blocks in the spaces we are not doing anything on the blocks dear friends uh, as I explained to you while making the pink color when we start in the corner we are ma making uh, one block now yarn over pardon one chain I made one after finishing this block we are making one chain yarn over and uh, going to the corner and in this corner I am going to make one block two chains and one block more I mean two blocks and between these two blocks there will be two chains but as I explained to you after making these two blocks I am making one chain and in the sides in the sides when we insert uh, in the spaces we are always making we are always making one chain between the blocks I am making a block in the space I'm not doing anything on the blocks I am making uh, these new blocks always in the spaces in the spaces uh, of the previous row now I am making one chain and I am going to the corner always in the corner and only in the corner we are making two chains in the sides we are always making one chain yes I made one block I made two chains I'm making the second block I am making one chain because I am in the side I am going to the space I'm not doing anything on the blocks I am making the new blocks of the new color always in the spaces I made three double crochet I finished my block I am making one chain I am going to the corner space 
I am always keeping the remaining yarn at the back side. We are going to hide them later on. I will show you how to do it. I made two chains. I am making another block by making three double crochet. I am making one chain. I am going to this space. I am making one chain. I am going to the corner that I uh, start by making one block and I am making the second block. When starting we are making only one block all around we are making we are coming and we are making the second block when finishing the uh, corners are becoming more neatly by making like this and making two chains and inserting my hook at top of the first three chain like this making a slip stitch making one chain and cutting the yarn we finished the third row dear friends we are on the fourth row one two three four we are going to go on with the yellow color on the fourth row what we are doing this is the front side of the orange color we are not considering the front or back sides of the previous one we are uh, considering uh, the front side or back side of the last one lastly we finish the orange color i am looking at the orange color and I see this is the front side now I am turning why I am turning because when we start uh, to new color when we start the new row we are always turning the back side of the last row since this is the front side of the orange color I am turning the square at the back side I am going to start with the yellow color for the fourth row yes I took the yellow color in my hand now I am at the back side of the orange color I am inserting my hook any space uh, all this I am going to fix the yellow color one two three uh, dear friends uh, from now on always we are going to repeat the same I made three chains I made one double crochet I am making another double crochet there are now three double crochet in the corner uh, since I am considering the first three chains as the first double crochet and in the corner when we start we are always making one block uh, now I am making one chain because I will go on making blocks in the sides for this reason I am making one chain in the size between the blocks we are always making one chain i am making a block in the following space i am not doing anything on the blocks always in the spaces we are making blocks and between the blocks in the sides i am making one chain I am making one chain and I am going to the corner I made one block in the corner we are in the second corner I made uh, one block I am making two chain and I am making the second block I am making one chain going to the space in the side 
making a block in there each block we are making three double crochet and I am making one chain going to the other space in the side between the sides we are always making one chain in the corner we are making two chains I am making one chain going to the corner I am making three double crochet This is the first block of this corner. I am making two chain. I am making another block. Yes, as you see. Okay, dear friends, come uh, to the end of this row. Uh, make these sides and this corner as well in the same way I explained to you come here uh, and we will finish this uh, yellow uh, color together I am at the end of this row I made one chain I am inserting my hook in the first corner that I made uh, one block and when finishing I am making the second block by inserting my hook in the same corner you see now the only thing sh we should do just making two chains inserting our hook at top of the first double crochet the first double crochet is the first ch uh, three chains you know I am inserting my hook at the third chain making a slip stitch like this and making one chain and finishing this fourth row we are in the fifth row dear friends as you see it's been very neatly very neatly square one two three four five we are in the fifth corner dear friends for this reason I am taking my uh, another purple color in my hand this is a bit darker than the center okay we are starting to crochet the fifth corner of this square what we are doing we are looking at the yellow one we are always looking at the last uh, row uh, if this is front side or back side this is the front side of the yellow color I am turning back always the only thing you should be careful is just when starting the upper uh, row you are starting from the back side of the last uh, uh, row the yellow color is the last row this is the front uh, side we are not crocheting from the front side we are turning the back and we are crocheting from the back side when we do this the corners uh, are becoming more neatly and your uh, granny square becoming the exact granny square okay I am inserting my hook in uh, any space of the corner I am making three chains I am making a block okay I made my first block when starting I am not making two blocks when starting I am making only one block and I am completing uh, the second one when we finishing as we did in the previous uh, ones I am making one chain I am going to the space always we are making blocks by inserting our hook in the spaces of the previous row dear friends we are not crocheting from the uh, we are not crocheting on the blocks always crocheting in the spaces I made a block in there I am making one chain I am going to the other space I am making another block I 
I am going making one chain I am making one chain I am going to the following space and making another block in there I am making one chain I am inserting my hook in the corner I am making one block in the corner and since we are in the corner we are making two chains and we are making the second block of the corner making one chain why I am making one chain because I am on the side not in the corner I am making a block each block consists of three double crochet making one chain going to this space making a block in there making one chain and going to this space and making another uh, block I'm making one chain coming to the corner I'm making a block in the corner after making the first block I'm making two chains and making another block yes dear friends like this we are uh, going to the end of this row uh, come here make all, all around as I explained to you and come uh, to the end of this uh, row dear friends I am nearly at the end of this row I made the last block in the last uh, side I am making one chain I am inserting my hook in the space you know when we start we made one block now I am making the second block making two chains inserting my hook in the third chain uh, of the first double crochet you know the first double crochet is the three chains I am making one chain and I am cutting the yarn the fifth row is already finished like this now we are in the sixth row dear friends we are in the sixth row we are taking our green yarn in our hand we are looking at the last row this is the front side of the last row we are turning back when we start the new row don't forget we are always uh, starting from the back side of the last row I am inserting in any corner one two three yarn over making one block the first three chain is the first double crochet after that we are making two double crochets making one chain when we start we are always making one block in the corner but in the other corners we are making two two blocks I am making a block in the first space in the side in the sides we are always making one chain only in the corners only in the corners we are making two chains but all uh, in the sides we are making one chain between the blocks dear friends like this we are coming to the corner we are making one chains between the blocks in the spaces we are making blocks between the blocks there are one chain like this we are coming to the corner I made one chain here after making one chain I have already made it I am inserting my hook in the corner I am making one block in there and then making two chains making another block 
in the corners we are always making two blocks and between these two blocks we are making two chains but only in the corners we are making two chains in the sides we are always making one chain between the blocks for example now I made the second uh, block in the corner I am making one chain going to the first space and making block in this space Yes, I made uh, three double crochet and each block consists of three uh, double crochets making one chain going to the following and making another block. Uh, dear friends, when we start, uh, we are making one block in the corner, but all the other corners, we are making two blocks and uh, between the two blocks making two chains. In the sides, uh, we are making blocks in the spaces. Between the blocks, we are making one chain. Dear friends, like this, like this, we are coming to the end of this row. Yes, I finished this row as well, dear friends. Uh, now we are uh, at the seventh row. Yes, uh, we finished the sixth row. We are at the seventh row for the seventh row we are using a uh, blue color what am I doing I'm looking at the last row uh, this is the front side of the last row so I am turning back and I am inserting my hook uh, in one of the space and I am starting by fixing my new color in this space I am making three chains and I am making only one block in here. After making one block, you know, when we start, we are always making one block. After that, I am making one chain and going to the space, first space of the site and making another block in there, dear friends. Yes. Dear friends, from now, from now on, uh, always it will repeat each other. I explained very detailed how you are going to make. You can make this kind of uh, squares as big as uh, you want. For example, if you want to make a blanket, you can make uh, one meter, one and a half meters. That completely depends on you. This is a very uh, useful uh, model. Uh, you can make everything like this but here in this project we are making the pockets of our kitchen apron as you see we are making from here to the other side you are making uh, 26 centimeters dear friends I made totally 16th row but uh, your the thickness of your yarn can be different for this reason measure it from this side to the other end it should be totally 26 centimeters dear friends let's finish let me show you my pockets maybe you want to make the similar colors same colors like this it's going to be we are now here in this uh, dark blue color you will go on like this dear friends Okay, let's finish by repeating each uh, other and uh, finish this uh, pocket. Dear friends, I finished these three parts for my crochet uh, kitchen apron. This is with pom pom is for the upper, for the top side uh, of the apron. And these are for the pockets of the apron. I will uh, explain you how to make these pom-poms uh, while making crocheting uh, but uh, if you want to learn how to make this uh, please look at the uh, link on the upper uh, upper side on the right side okay I'm finishing this video here dear friends because the video will be very long if I uh, go on explaining you how to make the skirt and also the belt for this reason, uh, I'm finishing the video here. I will go on making skirt in another video. Thank you so much for watching this video till now, dear friends.
please remember to subscribe my youtube channel activate the info link and please leave like remarks and make comments let's see in the second part of this beautiful creation